Hey everyone, I'm going to try to make this quick. I recorded this before and I promise I wanted to do it in one shot. I did not want a video I had to edit in any way and the camera died on me with like 30 seconds left in my spiel. So we're going to try this again. I hope you all are having a beautiful, beautiful fall. I am not a fan of fall. I do not love it, but this has been a really gorgeous fall season. It's been beautiful and I've been appreciating it so much more than I have in previous years and I hope you're having the same experience. So it's November which means it's National Novel Writers Month or NaNoWriMo. It's that way every November and if you've never done National Novel Writers Month it is a challenge where you challenge yourself to put 50,000 words from your brain onto paper for your novel and I've done it before, I've completed it before, and it's always so much fun. Um, I haven't done it for the past few years though because the past several Novembers, something has happened that has just kind of taken my creativity or my energy. Last year, I was caring for relatives staying with me. Year before, I was traveling. And the year before, I think I was preparing to buy my house or I was researching houses. It's Oh, and I was traveling the year before in 2018. So 2018, 2019, it was travel. And then last year it was caretaking. So it's been busy. And so I couldn't commit to NaNoWriMo for several years. But this year I committed. I'm nowhere near my word count. Like I think, I don't even know. I don't think I have 10% of my words, but don't worry. Before the end of the week, I will have 50% of my words because I've already committed to putting a huge block of time into my writing during my breaks um, at work, as well as not having any evening tutoring students, um, which is another video that I'll post pretty soon about my tutoring gig that I love. Um, but yeah, it's a lot and um, it's a lot to write that is, and I'm committed to doing it. So here's a tip and I'm going to keep it very brief. If you want to participate in NaNoWriMo, of course, do so. Sign up on their website if you're inspired. Don't look for me there. I forget to sign up every year. And I don't want to be the latecomer like, yeah, I'm signing up now. I've already got X amount of words. Like, no, I have to sign up on the beginning of the month. In the middle of the month, it loses its punch. So um, maybe next year, I might put it in my calendar to remind myself. But certainly this year, I'm not signing up on the website, but I'm still completing the challenge. Um, if you need the motivation or if you like the thought of that, certainly sign up even now. doesn't matter. And when you sign up, just know that your novel does not have to be written linearly. And this is something that I think a lot of people are frustrated by, trying to write beginning, middle, end in that order. Don't do that. Write the scene that excites you first. That could actually be your opening scene if you're having a problem with your opening. You could make that your opening scene, but you don't have to. Write down what excites you first. Write it in its completeness and um, make sure that you put all of your feeling, all of your thoughts in there. Get that idea completely written out and then move to the next exciting idea that you want to include in the book and the next one and the next one. Once you get a set of series or season what is the word i'm looking for <laughs> i don't want to record this again but once you scenes that's the word i'm looking for once you have a set of scenes you can do so much with that and you can find the dialogue and the connectors to weave them together in a logical pattern or you could do like i think um kurt vonnegut and just kind of write disorderly like you can do that too that's fine um you could do however you like it's your call, it's your book, and it's um, it's just you getting the, the thoughts out of your head. If you don't get them written down, then you will never see your book in print. Um, your book is in you, and every year you get this opportunity to bring it, to share it. And I want you all to give yourself that chance, give yourself the opportunity to share your story with whoever you choose to share it with. You never have to purchase, purchase, publish your book for public consumption, but maybe it's something you'd like to leave 
um, in your in your possessions so that, if, you know, when you transition, maybe someone will read it and love it. Or you might want to just write it and burn it. It's your story. You can do what you want with it. Um, but I do think it's wonderful when you give your story a chance to live outside of you. Your call, you're free to do what you want. So definitely don't feel compelled to write it in a linear fashion. Write it as inspiration comes for whatever scene. And then once you've tapped out of inspiration in that way, then take it and kind of maneuver it between those um, portions of the book, the beginning, the middle, the end, and come up with a little bit of dialogue to kind of weave it together. That's all you need. Um, I don't recommend you try to write it in a straight line fashion. I don't. Um, I usually, if it helps, I will uh, put, and it does help me many times, I'll just put down the scene and then I'll separate a page in the document and then I'll write down the next scene. And when that feels complete, another page is insert blank page that is, is inserted into the document so that I can kind of glance it and train my eye to see, oh, this is where this next scene picks up. Where do I want it to be? It helps me to kind of visualize it a little bit better when I make sure to insert those blank pages in between those big scenes. And so it's, you know, it's a, it's a page break. So a page break is always good. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you all are, again, having a great month. If you're participating in NaNoWriMo, let me know. I'd love to root for you over here. And even over there, maybe I'll pop in over there and root for you there if there's a way to do so. I don't know. I haven't been on the website in years. Um, but I hope that you all are having a fantastic day or evening wherever you are. Let me know. Your, don't tell me your word count. I don't want to be ashamed of myself. But definitely tell me how your story is going in the comments below if you're so compelled. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.